I just wanted to drop in a quick tutorial, not exactly a full tutorial, it's going to be some really useful tips and tricks that you're going to uh, want to take into consideration when you're making a movie poster. So I've got things noted down here. Um, yeah, so let's start. Uh, the first one, which in my opinion is very important, probably the most important, is to reference the movie. You always want to reference the movie. Is, is the movie... Uh, what style does the movie have? What's the lighting of the movie? And what's the color palette of the movie? And it's very important. So, for example, let's say you're making um, the Grand Budapest Hotel. A poster for the Grand Budapest Hotel. The Grand Budapest Hotel has a very specific style and a very specific color palette and you won't be able to replicate you won't be able to make a good Grand Budapest Hotel poster if you don't take those things into consideration. You'll be able to make a good poster, but it won't be a Grand Budapest Hotel poster. Um, Matrix, very green, has a green tint. You want to you want, you, want, you want your poster to have a green tint. Um, my example, the one that I actually did, Whiplash. Um, in the final scene, it it the lighting mostly consists of warm spotlights. So, my blender scene is lighted with warm spotlights. Now, these things you're, you're gonna always want to take into... You all, you're always want to take those things into consideration before you actually start making the scene. You want to analyze the movie a bit. What's the style? What's the lighting? What's the color? Those three things are key. Second main point, composition. You want to take that into account long before you actually start making your blender scene. So, let me just give you an example. What you want to do is take out a piece of paper and you want to draw small sketches, or what they call thumbnail sketches. You don't want to go too detailed, you just want to see what the focal point is, what the main focal point is, where the main focal point is those two things are key and then after that you want to see what the typography is and where the typography is and in case you're confused on what typography means in the situation it's the text it's the it's the main movie title or it's the credits or it's the director uh, the cat the cast it's it's the text in a movie and you want to take these two factors, the focal point and the text, and you want to start mix and matching different ideas before you actually start doing the blender scene. Or not, or not what's going to happen is you're going to make this really kick-ass blender scene that looks amazing. You render it, and you have no place for the text. Sorry. You have no place for the text. That's what happens. Because you made a good render, yes, but you did not take your text into consideration. The poster is the combination of the render and typography, aka the text. One does not outdo the other, it's a, it's a combination. And if you take just only one part, just 50% of that, you're gonna end up with a bad poster. So you wanna take both into consideration and you're gonna want uh, equal focus on each each of them so for example what happens if you don't draw thumbnail sketches or at least have an idea on what you're going to do before you actually make the poster what's gonna happen is you're gonna make a really good image and you're not gonna have enough place for the text your movie title will be just a small a written text in the corner not many people will notice it it will not fit in that's that's the very important point. You want to already have an idea what where the text is going to be and what the text is going to be. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. Those were all the artistic stuff that I wanted to share. So, quick recap. Reference the movie. So, specifically, lighting, color, style. Reference the lighting, color, style. And then second, the composition. What is the focal point? Where is the focal point? 
what is typography and where is typography? Just drill those things. Just drill those things into your brain before you start doing anything about it. 